Welcome to Blockbuster Video's Guide to Movies and Videos. To go anywhere in the product, just click on this banner. Click on the movie reel to search, get help, or find other options, including online updates. Explore the main screen to find your favorite movies and movie stars. Play the movie game, or take a guided tour through the 10 film categories. In the beginning, there was laughter, but the broad physical humor of early film comedians didn't need words to be funny. Silent star Charlie Chaplin is loved for his character, The Little Tramp. Buster Keaton in films like The General was a master at combining hilariously deadpan expression with acrobatic and frequently dangerous comic stunts. Moving into the start of the talkies, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy brought their own brand of physical comedy to films like A Chump at Oxford. The Marx Brothers soon added Groucho's amazing wit to the proceedings. In Duck Soup and A Night at the Opera, the brothers excel at turning joyful order into anarchy. Comics Bud Abbott and Lou Costello came on the scene in the 40s and 50s with films like... Gunner, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livingston. Mr. Gunner Jensen. Hi. Uh, I don't want to seem inquisitive, but... Uh... Just what are we going to after you for? Well, we're going after an orangutan gargantua. Orangutan gargantua? Excuse me, please. Uh, pardon me, I see you. What's orangutan gargantua? Uh, it's a big ape. Oh, a big ape? Yeah, stop worrying. Snake? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Big ape? Yeah. You mean like the thing I see in a circus, like the father to the monkey? Yeah, yeah it's only bigger. Bigger. And he's going to protect me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna show them how you can shoot the Winchester. Film comedies became more sophisticated. Director Ernst Lubitsch made deft comedies of romance, marriage, and infidelity, such as Design for Living and Ninochka. He was soon followed by directors like Howard Hawks and Frank Capra, who added a jazzier, wise-cracking riff to their romantic screwball comedies. Actors like Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert, sparring in It Happened One Night, 
and Katherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, and Jimmy Stewart in the Philadelphia story filled the new comedies with crackling dialogue and drawing room slapstick. In the 40s, Hepburn quickly became famous for her delightful pairings with Spencer Tracy in films like Adam's Rib and Pat and Mike. In addition to his roles opposite Hepburn, Cary Grant also starred in several films with Rosalind Russell, such as the newsroom comedy His Girl Friday. In this clip, newspaper editor Grant tries to talk reporter Russell into doing one more story before she leaves the paper to get married. P.S. There's a murderer hidden inside her roll-top desk. In the 60s, teenager Dustin Hoffman was seduced by his parents' older married friend, Mrs. Robinson, played by Anne Bancroft, in The Graduate, a sort of reverse comic Lolita. The fun really starts when he falls in love with Mrs. Robinson's daughter. The romantic comedy seems to have made a comeback recently with films like When Harry Met Sally with Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal. Ryan also starred with Tom Hanks in Sleepless in Seattle, a charming film in which a motherless 10-year-old convinces his father to advertise with a call-in radio matchmaker. Tom Hanks, like a lot of movie actors, got his show business start on television. His first big screen success came with Ron Howard's Splash, where Hanks befriended stranded mermaid Daryl Hannah. Who said a kiss on the hand might feel very good, but a diamond tiara is forever? Was it Marilyn Monroe? Oh. Marilyn Monroe in the 1953 film, what was the name of the baseball team in the movie Major League? Was it the Baltimore or The Cleveland Indians were the famous major... What in Hollywood terms is a Busby Berkeley? An accidental pratfall, an incredibly bad film, or an... An extremely elaborate musical number named after 30s director Busby Berkeley, who was known for including... In the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which singer is enjoyed for dinner? Elvis Costello, Pat Boone, or Meat... The evil Dr. Frank N. Furter serves up meatloaf. Who wrote the theme song for the 1973 James Bond film, Live and Let Die? Oh. Paul McCartney. Barbara Bach, Ringo Starr, who starred with Rob Lowe in Bad Influence. James Spader, Mark Hamill, or Gene Hackman. In the 1990 film, Bad Influence, James Spader plays the innocent financial analyst who must deal with... Tom Hultz played Mozart in Amadeus. Which character did he play in Animal House? Pinto? Fl Tom Hultz played Pinto, who tried to seduce the mayor's daughter. Who said there's nothing more inconvenient than an old queen with a head cold? Quentin Crisp as Queen Elizabeth in Orlando? Michelle Serrault in La Cage Oh. Name the film in which this quote can be heard. See, I never trust happiness. I never did. I never... Oh. Sad as it seems, Robert Duvall said this in Tender Mercies. What's the real-life name of the White Palace hamburger chain where Susan Sarandon worked in the 1990 movie of the same name? Is it... White Castle is the real-life equivalent of White Palace. On what did Bonnie and Clyde director Arthur Penn blame the rise of gangs in the U.S.? Prohibition? Ford's V8? Oh. The bigger engines allowed criminals to outrun the police. Who played Oscar Schindler in the 1993 film about the Holocaust, Schindler's List? Ben Kingsley? Liam, Liam Neeson gave the masterful performance as the... Which character in Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland had a smile without a face? The Queen of Hearts? The Cheshire Cat slowly disappeared until all... In what movie does Al Pacino play a gangster who fights his way to the head of the mob? In the 1983 film Scarface, a remake of the 1932 classic, what movie included singer Roy Orbison in its cast? The Fastest Guitar Alive? La Bamba, or oh. Orbison wrote and originally recorded the song Pretty Woman, but his one... The Milagro Beanfield War was fought over what? Water? Land? The Milagro Beanfield War was fought over irrigation rights. What song did Tom Cruise dance in his underwear to in Risky Business? Was it Bad to the... B 
Cruz danced his way to fame to the tune of Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob. Who has given the longest acceptance speech at the Academy Awards? Greer Garson, Sally Field, or Clark Gable? Greer Garson won the 1942 Best Actress Oscar for Miss Miniver. Her acceptance speech lasted over... What was the first animated film to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture? Was it Snow White? When Beauty and the Beast was nominated for Best Picture in 1992, it was the first time an animated... What was Walter Brooks' advice to Dustin Hoffman in The Graduate? Metals? Commodity... Oh. Brooks counseled plastics, but that when the Directors or Writers Guild grants a director's request that his or her name be removed from a film's credits, what is the director's name? Alan Smithy. At least that's how it's been since 1967. Before that, if a director didn't want to... What document helps determine movie ratings? The production code? The don'ts and be carefuls? Or the code of self... Oh. The code of self-regulation is presently used to aid in rating movies. The production code was in use... In what film did Tom Cruise play an army veteran working as a bartender? In Born on the Fourth of July, Cocktail... Oh. Tom Cruise spent time behind the bar in 1988... What was the origin of the screenplay for Heathers? A short story, a play... A weekly column in screenwriter Daniel Waters... What Hollywood musical was a film version of Broadway team Rodgers and Hammerstein's last show? The Pirates of Penzance, anything... The Sound of Music, released in... How many American remakes of French films has Richard Gere starred in? Two, three, or four? Oh. Three. Breathless, Summersby, and... Who wrote the book that the Disney animated movie Bambi was based on? Felix Salton... Oh. Felix Salton wrote the book Bambi. Lewis Carroll wrote the book on which Disney's Alice in Wonderland... Sean Connery won his first Oscar in what film? From Russia with Love, Murder on the Orient... Oh. The former James Bond star won his own... Name the 1989 family film narrated by Dudley Moore in which... It's Milo and Otis who find themselves in all sorts of trouble in this adorable feature film. Zazu Pitts, famous actress of the 20s and 30s, and 40s and 50s, what was her full name? Alexander... Oh. Legend has it that director King Vidor discovered her on a Hollywood trolley in 19... In what year did the movie Grease come out? 1978? The 1978 movie Grease provided the hit song. Louis Gossett Jr. plays a naval aviator drill sergeant in what movie? An officer and a gentleman? Iron e Gossett was in the Air Force in Iron Eagle and not in the military at all in Toy Soldiers. In which film did Arnold Schwarzenegger say, Hasta la vista, baby. Arnold Schwarzenegger said, Hasta la vista, baby. Until next time. The Accidental Tourist, a 1988 film starring William Hurt and Gina Davis, is based on a novel by what author? Oh. Ann Tyler, author of Dinner at the Homesick Restaurant, also wrote the novel. In which modern-day western of sorts was this said? Did you see how leathery he was? He was like a saddlebag with eyes. Billy Crystal was referring to Jack Palance, or Curly, as he was endearingly called in... What are the names of Walt Disney's Aristocats? Bernard and Bianca? Duchess and Thomas O'Malley? Or Lady and the Tramp? The Duchess and Thomas O'Malley are the Aristocats. Bernard and Bianca are from the... In Wall Street, what book does Michael Douglas recommend to Charlie Sheen? The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People... What they do. Oh. Michael Douglas plays the slimy Gordon Gecko, who recommends... Elizabeth Taylor won her first Best Actress Oscar for what movie? Butterfield 8? Oh. Butterfield 8 came out in 1960, six years before... What items show up in two stories in Creepshow? A chair, a gun, or...
The same ashtray appears in two of the stories, all of which were... Who is the only movie actor to have received the Congressional Gold Medal? Elvis Presley, Cary Grant, oh. Bob Hope was given the honor in 1963 by then-President John F. Kennedy for being America's most... The title character in the 1988 comedy Young Einstein was played by a newcomer. Seriously, folks, Yahoo Serious play... Why was Arlo Guthrie arrested in Alice's restaurant? Drug possession? Trespassing? Oh. Folk singer Arlo Guthrie, whose dad Woody Guthrie wrote... What action did the U.S. Navy take with the release of the 1986 action film Top Gun starring Tom Cruise? Did they sue the studio for misrepresentation? Recommend the film? Oh. The Navy knew a good publicity opportunity when it saw one and set up information booths in many theaters during Top Gun's The... What NBA player co-starred with Nick Nolte in 1994's Blue Chips? Michael Jordan. Shaquille O'Neal played a college basketball... Live fast, die young, have a good-looking corpse. Who said it? Was it John Derrick in Knock on Any Door? James Dean in Rebel Without a Call? Oh. John Derrick said it in Knock on Any Door. Sounds like Dean, but it isn't. A famous... What did all the dogs who played Lassie have in common? They were all related? They were all females? Oh. All of the lassies were laddies. Who does Bruce Wayne fall in love with in the movie Batman? Michelle Pfeiffer, Kim Bassinger, or Sharon Stone? Oh. In the 1989 rendition of Batman, Bruce Wayne, played by Michael Keaton, Shelley Winters plays Ma Barker in which bloody gangster film? Is it Mother's Boys? The Killing Time? Oh. Shelley Winters is Ma Barker in the 1970s shoot-em-up movie. How many movies were in the Friday the 13th series as of 1993? Nine, eight, or ten? Oh. Nine, but who's counting? By now, they're... What famous Bob Dylan song did Tim Robbins parody in the political satire Bob Roberts? Corina Corina. Oh. Robbins as a sly senatorial candidate saying... How many times has Elizabeth Taylor been married? Six, seven, or eight? Oh. Taylor has been married eight times, but to only seven men. She and... What film was a remake of Japanese director Akira Kurosawa's film, The Seven Samurai, starring Toshiro Mifune? The Magnificent Seven, a Western... Was what color nail polish does Mary Haynes ask for in The Women? Pussycat Pink, Jungle Red... Oh. After admiring her cousin Sylvia's manicure, Mary promises to remember to go to Sydney's and get hers done. The late River Phoenix starred in three films with what actress? Martha Plimpton, Emily Lloyd, or Elizabeth McGovern? River Phoenix shared the screen with Martha Plimpton in The Mosquito Coat. Who played Jeff Goldblum's son in The Fly 2? Was it Eric? Eric Stoltz, famous for his portrayal of a deformed boy who played the beatnik chick in John Waters' Hairspray. Debbie Harry, Ricky Lake, or Pia Zadora? Pia Zadora played the spacey but wise. What's Diane Keaton's real name? Diane Allen and... Oh. Diane Hall, but her friends know her as Annie. Annie Hall. Who directed 2001, A Space Odyssey? 2001 was Stanley Kubrick's eighth film, In Between Dr. Strip, in which 1986 movie starring Sean Connery is an immortal man challenged by a long time. The movie was Highlander, about a race of Scots who carried on a family feud throughout. In the film Fat Man and Little Boy, starring Paul Newman and John Cusack, what did the title refer to? Newman and Cusack's characters, the president and vice... Oh. Fat Man and Little Boy were the code names for the bombs that the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Who is the true father of motion pictures? Louis Le Prince, Thomas Edison... Louis M.A. Augustin Le Prince patented the first commercial...
What beautiful Baroque building built in the days of the rubber barons is featured in Werner Herzog's Fitz Caraldo, Sao Paulo City. The Manas Opera House still stands today in an Amazon. What was the big red one? A sleeve patch? A warning signal? Or a code for the bomb? Oh. The big red one starred Lee Marvin and referred to the red number one sleeve patches. What was the first CinemaScope film? Was it The Robe? The Robe was the first film shot in CinemaScope. Power of Love was the first commercially released 3D film. Scent of Mystery was, mercifully, the only... In what movie did James Earl Jones ask, You're from the 60s, aren't you? Was it Back to the Future? Playing a reclusive author, based largely on the real-life writer J.D. Salinger, Jones faces a fan. In what series of horror films does a wise-cracking monster enter people's dreams and slaughter them in their sleep? A Nightmare on Elm Street? It was bad boy Freddy Krueger, of course, who killed all those innocents in the... What famous dancer had a cameo in the 1980 roller fantasy Xanadu? Gregory Hines, Gene Kelly... Gene Kelly appeared in Xanadu with Olivia Newton-John and Michael Beck. What was the first 3D movie? Was it Power of Love, House of Wax? Power of Love was made in 1922. 3D movies enjoyed a brief burst of popularity. Who starred as the beer-guzzling baseball coach in the 1976 hit, The Bad News Bears? Was it Jack Lemmon? Walter Matthau starred as the grumpy coach in The Bad News Bears. What was Joan Crawford's real name? Was it Billy Kassan, Joan Fairbanks, or Lucille Lassure? Oh. Joan Crawford was born Lucille Lassure although she once worked under the name Billy Kassan. Her stepfather's last name was... Where did the hero of Army of Darkness work, in his own time, of course? At S-Mart? The lives of a content and peaceful African tribe are forever disrupted in this comedy after a strange object falls from the sky. Is it Windwalker? Oh. With no big names and few special effects, the gods must be... What was Jack Nicholson's first movie? Was it Little Shop of Horrors? The Crybaby Killer. Oh. The Crybaby Killer, released in 1957, was Nicholson's first film. Little Shop of Horrors, which... In this classic tale of justice, how many angry men were there? Ten? Twelve? Twelve. That's how many people sit on a jury. In which movie does Dan Aykroyd play an uninvited in-law who descends upon John Candy's idyllic vacation home? Is it vacation? Aykroyd ruined Candy's vacation in the great outdoors. Gorillas in the Mist told the story of what real-life naturalist? Jane Goodall, Diane Fossey, oh. Sigourney Weaver played naturalist Diane Fossey in the 1988 film Gorillas in the Mist. What waifish actress played Rosemary in Rosemary's Baby? Mia Farrow, Shelley Duvall, or Sissy Spacek? Mia Farrow was Rosemary in the 19th... What was the name of the charter boat that the heroes of Jaws used to chase the hungry fish? Orca was the name of the shark-chasing vessel, and also the title of a 1977... In the 1982 fantasy film, Time Bandits, Huge blocks of stone fell from the ceiling onto the hero's ship. What were they shaped like? Pyramids, boulders, or Legos?